whether you choose to upload a Lightroom catalog or photos directly from a folder, culling with Imagine is just a few clicks away. To upload projects for culling from a folder of photos, click Create a New Project. Then choose Cull and pick the category of photos you will be culling. New Imaginers will be prompted to choose which software you prefer to work in. Existing Imaginers will see a message at the bottom asking if you do not have Lightroom Classic catalogs. If you prefer to use a different software other than Lightroom Classic, click the button there. Then choose which app you work in, Lightroom, Photoshop, or Bridge. Now you have the ability to browse your computer for the folder of photos or drag and drop the folder. Your project will automatically be named after the folder, but you can change that if needed. If starting from Lightroom Classic, you can select a recent catalog, browse your computer, or drag and drop a catalog file. Select the folders or collections from your Lightroom Classic catalogs that contain the photos you would like cold. Imagine will automatically name your project based on the folder or collection selected. You can change the project name to whatever you want. With Imagine, you can review your selections with your favorite AI profile already applied. That means you cull your photos at the optimal state and don't need to imagine what that will look like edited. Here, you can choose if you want to review your selections in their original format or preview their edited versions. To adjust your culling preferences, click on that button at the bottom right. Here, you can choose between your preferred culling method of color labels, star ratings, or flags. If you would like Imagine to also provide low ratings for photos containing blur, improper exposures, or accidental captures, you can toggle that on and choose the attribute to assign for them. Just note that when applying low ratings, groupings may no longer contain more than one photo. On the right, you will see a preview of how those ratings would look when reviewing. If using color labels or stars, your photos will be rated using keepers, duplicates, standalones, and low rated. You can adjust your grouping criteria for more or fewer keepers and standalone selections. On the right side, you can see a preview of how that would look. Click Save and Imagine will remember your preferences for future culling projects. But don't worry, as you can modify it at any time. When ready, click the Upload button. You'll see the progress of your cull in the Active tab on the Projects page. You'll receive an email confirmation once your culls are ready. Back in the Imagine app, Click the Review Culling button to load Imagine's Culling Studio. The first time you open a project in Culling Studio, Imagine will review your culling preferences and results with you. You'll see that your culling results will automatically appear with keepers and standalones filtered. And you can change what photos are filtered to show at any time. Navigating the Culling Studio should feel familiar as you can use all the same keyboard shortcuts you're already used to in Lightroom. For example, from the grid view, click the space bar to switch to loop view, and G to go back to grid view. Use numbers for stars and colors, and P to flag. Culling Studio also has a few unique shortcuts to help speed up your culling review process, such as S to swap an alternative photo from a group as the keeper, or A to add any photo as a keeper. Use the select feature to change ratings to photos in bulk. Once done, continue to edit with Imagine, or you can export to a folder of your Lightroom catalog. The remainder of the editing process is the same as a project you have sent directly for editing. Because Imagine has already culled your photos, there is no need to re-upload them for the editing process. Imagine getting hours of your life back from culling to focus on what you love. Just imagine the possibilities.